My name is Eric Ford. Today we are going to be hot on the case of Elijah from Buxton. Buxton is a town full of slaves from Canada. How is life in Buxton compared to life in the USA? Life in Buxton is tense at times because almost everyone in Buxton is a runaway slave. And we can get worried that Patty Bullers might come into Canada, which is not supposed to be in Canada, and take us away back with slavery. Also, there might be a traitor in our town like the preacher who might be a Patty Buller in disguise. We, Buxton, is all really tense and scared. How does it feel to be the first newborn child in Buxton County? It feels great, yet other people are really jealous for something really silly that does not really matter to me, or so I think so. When I was on a parade float, I and when I got off, they were giving a speech. I actually barked on special person number one, Mr. Douglas, so like, they're... They made a horrible nickname for me that got tied up with me in history, so I don't really like being the firstborn. How did you feel when you found out the preacher stole Mr. Leroy's money when you told Mr. Leroy you could trust the preacher? I really trusted the preacher with all my heart, and I felt that I might have a heart attack because he lied to Mr. Leroy. I told Mr. Leroy he could trust the preacher with all of his might, so Mr. Leroy gave his money to for, to the preacher so he can free his family in America. Mr. Leroy has saved up that money forever. How did you feel when you found out the preacher stole Mr. Leroy's money when you told Mr. Leroy you could trust the preacher? I really trusted the preacher with all my heart and I felt like I was going to have a heart attack when I found out that he stole Mr. Leroy's money. And I thought, and I told Mr. Leroy that you could trust the preacher, and that he could that he could trust the preacher with bringing his money to America and freeing the rest of his family. But Mr. Leroy has been saving up that money.